We're at ASCO 2013 with Dr. Jane Chirpak, who just presented some information about inherited mutations in breast cancer genes among African-American breast cancer patients. Dr. Chirpak, could you tell us a bit about the panel that you use to do these genetic evaluations? Sure. So for this, at this research study, I used an assay called BROCA, which uses new tools called targeted genomic capture and next generation sequencing which allows us to look at multiple different types of changes in genes and multiple genes in multiple people all at once. And this panel that we used included 18 breast cancer susceptibility genes, including BRCA1 and BRCA2. And it's basically one single comprehensive test that looks at all types of vari variations in the genes in all of these genes all at one time. So this test could be a one-stop shopping sort of test for testing for family cancers or, or high-risk patients, and yet it's really not available in clinical use, and why is that? Well, at present, we cannot do these panels, including BRCA1 and BRCA2, because those genes are currently patented by Myriad Genetics, and therefore, all of the panels that are currently clinically available have the rest of these genes, but are not able to include BRCA1 and BRCA2. So in clinical practice, what we must do is do BRCA1 and BRCA2 first, which is actually currently a two-step test to detect first changes in the, the actual letters of the DNA sequence, and then a second test, which costs a separate amount of money to look for if the order of the words in the sentence of the gene are, is correct. So we do those two steps at different costs first, and then in the right settings, we consider doing these panels. So if we were able to do a comprehensive test in the right setting for high-risk women, we could all at once analyze all of these genes and get all of the information in one single, less expensive test. And I know it's hard to talk about costs for a test that isn't available, but relatively speaking, what does testing cost now and what could testing cost with this new approach? Sure. So current BRCA1 and 2 testing in practice costs about $3,000 for the sequencing and about seven dollars or $800 for rearrangement testing. And obviously this varies by people's insurance, how much actually gets charged to the patient and what it costs them. The current panels right now that are available without those two genes are costing about $3,000. But there is potential, if we could do this all at once, to potentially decrease the cost because we can do multiple samples at once and so it could become even more cost effective to do the panel than each one of these things separately. And your research in Chicago continues. Other research sources? Yeah, so we're doing this and we did this in collaboration with Mary Claire King at the University of Washington and Tom Walsh who is a PhD in her lab as well who designed this assay. Um, and so they also have ongoing studies looking at this in ovarian cancer patients, uterine cancer patients, and other breast cancer patients. And so they also are enrolling patients. Very interesting. Thank you so much, Dr. Chirpak. You're Chirpec. welcome.